Hope you enjoy the glory to God. Part number one of, of marriage is a mystery. Hey, glory to God. This, this part two, hey, glory to God of marriage is not a myth. What I say? Marriage is not mythology. Marriage is not mythology. Hey, glory to God. First John 2, verse 16 and 17. And read, for all that is of all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world, and the world pass away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. He go to God. Now verse 15 say, Love that the world need a thing that are in the world. He go to God. So marriage is not a myth. Why say ma why marriage is not a myth? I'm gonna tell you why marriage is not a myth. Hey, glory to God. Because listen, my friend, uh, it's it's ten W's why marriage is not a myth. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Can I read it? Can I read them first? Number one, world. Number two, weight. Number three, weight. Hey, glory to God. Number four, want. Number five, worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And number six, my friend, you got to want. Amen. Number seven is the word of God. Number eight is wavering. Number nine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number nine is the will of God. Number 10. Hey, glory to God. It's a mystery. Hey, glory to God. Amen. So listen to me, my friend. You don't want misery. Amen. Let's start number 10. Number 10, and they, they don't want to abide in the counsel of God instead of the flesh. They rather have misery than joyfulness. That's number 10. Number one is they love the world principle and don't want a man but babies. That's why, that's why my friend, we have fatherless homes. Amen. That's why we have children that don't confuse because their woman rather have a baby than have a husband to take care of the baby and to take care of them. Like the woman go to when Jesus Christ was preaching, he say, "Blessed woman." She, she say, "Blessed is is a woman that sucks on the breast, the baby that suck up." But Jesus Christ, blessed they that keep his keep his word and do it, hear the word and do it. Amen. So Jesus Christ had feminists in his time. Number two, they they can't wait to get married. Anytime, glory to God, you can't wait to get married because you don't believe in marriage. You don't believe in the mystery of marriage. You believe marriage is a myth because you can't wait until Mr. Wright come and say, would you marry me? Come on. Anybody can open their legs, but a lot of people don't want to get married. A lot of people don't want to be faithful to one person. Amen. Some of y'all go to God. Y'all y'all like person that changed your drawers, change your socks. That's how you think about a man. Like a, I know this person, my friend, every month you're a new friend. Hey, glory to God. Number three, they want to live the life of whoredom with many partners, which is lust. What? Hey, glory to God. Listen, my friend. Amen. What I say, they, they want to live the life of whoredom with many partners, which is lust. And number four, they they don't want transition to wife, but want to stay a woman rather than commitment being a wife. Number five, they worship things rather than God's present, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. They love to they love to to, to massage the flesh and everything they see they want. Number six, they want more than being contentious, no satisfaction in one person. They don't believe in oneness no more. They believe in doubles and triples, my friend. They believe in more. They have a, they have a man for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They have a woman from, for all through the week. And they become W-E-A-K. He goes to, to the W-E-E-K. My friend, you got to be faithful. People that don't believe in marriage, they have baby out of wedlock. They bring all these bastard children into this world. 
because why they think a baby gonna gonna give them a Mercedes Benz. They think a, they think a, a baby gonna help them and go to God to stay home and get a check because a man wanna pay child support. They lay and expect to get paid. They live in a fantasy world. They know man gonna take care of a baby. He rather don't work. He rather stay home with mama. Hey, go to God. Whether you get married to a man that's productive, you are you gonna have a baby by a bum. You gonna have a baby by a man that don't have a job. He stay home playing video game. He stay home watching TV. He stay home, my friend. And at nighttime, he call you over and say, "Can you come over?" You being a dummy, come over. Hey, go to God. Hey, Amen. Number seven. Hey, go to God. They they love. They love the word. They, they love the word of God. They don't love the word of God. But the things of the flesh, in Galatians 5, 19 and 20, the work of the flesh is manifested. Read that, my friend. Read that verse. And the verse talk about a manifestation of the flesh. They don't love the word of God. But the things of the flesh, as Galatians 5, 19 and 20, the work of the flesh is manifested. And glory to God. Hallelujah. Number eight, they are waverers than being firm and faithful and don't want to be submissive. And guess what? Submissive is two way. The man should be submissive and the woman submissive. But guess what happened? When the woman picked the fruit from the garden, the Bible say the man ruled over her. So if your wife your husband rule over you, not as as in the old days you're dragging a woman by the hair. No, that means that you gotta be submissive to your husband. You gotta honor your husband. You gotta respect your husband, and your husband gotta love you. Amen. It, it ain't a tyrant no more. Love, love. Did I read a verse? Go to look at look at part number one. I say, husband, love your wife, and woman. Honor, respect your husband. But but people believe, don't believe in marriage. They believe marriage is a myth. They believe no man is faithful anymore. The devil is a liar. I'm faithful to my wife. Hey Amen. I love my wife. I'm not going to cheat on my wife. Hey, glory to God. I believe, my friend, listen, disease is out there. STD is out there. Satan trap disease. Don't STD stand for, you stand for, come on now. S, Satan, T, trap, D, disease. That's what it, STD is. So I'm not going to risk my life for one night stand or five minute stand and bring home disease to my wife. Heaven no. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Amen. Number nine. Amen. They say the will of God is boredom to them. That's why they rather have babies without a husband. So we have the continual fatherless home. Look at look at the rate right now. Hey man, it's like a nursery. You have babies running around and don't don't know who the daddy is. The only thing they know is grandpa. Grandpa, 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 grandpa. Don't know don't, don't know don't know the word named dad no more. They don't kids nowadays in the twenty first century, they don't know Dad, they know grandpa. That's all they know. Grandpa, grandpa, no more dad, no more dad. That's my dad, no more. Hey Amen. Those days are gone. Why, preacher? Because women believe that marriage is a myth. I've been married for over 30 years, my friend, and I think marriage is a ministry. Marriage is a mystery, it's a ministry and a mystery. But women that have baby out of wedlock, they think marriage is a myth. They ain't think about getting married. They think marriage is a waste of time. They think no way I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up no man breath in my in my face. Well, guess what? When it, when you're cold, the blanket can't keep you warm. It takes body heat to make you warm. Hey, glory to come on now. It takes body heat to curl up. Hey man, you you curl up to close to close to each other. I'm talking about marriage. Marriage is a ministry. Congress didn't make marriage. Government didn't make marriage. Marriage was came from God. It was Adam and Eve in the garden. It wasn't Adam and Steve. It's a lie from the pits of hell. 
that's why I didn't that's why I didn't vote in the, in the, in the election, my friend. When I found out both parties believe in the LGBTQ, LGBTQ means letting go God's biblical principles with question. If you got a question, ask God. Ask the word of God. So I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, my friend, marriage is not a myth. Marriage is a ministry and it's a mystery. But you all, they're having babies out of wedlock. My friend, you think marriage is a myth. But the devil is a liar. The devil has tricked you to think that man is going to take care of you. Hey, you are taking care. You, you don't even have a place to stay. You're still, you still at daddy. You're still at your mom and daddy's house. Why? Because you think that this man is going to take care of you. This man is going to give you a Mercedes Benz. He's going to take care of you. He'll give you a check every every month. You go to the mailbox. He'll give you a check. The devil is a liar. And the devil has tricked you. Marriage is not a myth. Marriage is not a myth, my friend. Marriage is not mythology. Amen. Marriage is not fantasy. Marriage is facts. Look at me. Look at my wife. Hey man, we ain't getting we ain't getting older, we getting younger. We getting younger, we getting stronger. Why? Because it's a mystery. Marriage is like an empty box. And by both of y'all, y'all fill it up with, with fun. You fill up with love. You fill up with laughter. You fill up with conversation, comfort, compassion. All those things you are filling up in a box called marriage. Hey man, marriage is not a myth. And the reason why some of y'all husbands walk off on y'all because you, you don't treat him like a man. You treat him like a monster. Hey, man, come on. You got to smell good. You got to look good. You got to treat each other good. Hey, man, come on. You can't, you can't expect fantasy. You can't expect him to be a, a, a Hollywood husband or a Hollywood wife. No, those things are acting. In real life, it take, it take to work the marriage. It takes for a man to shut up, hallelujah, and listen, and tell a little woman to shut up and listen to each other. Hey, glory to God. Don't let the Bible say, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Hey, Amen. Marriage is not a is not a myth. It's a mystery. And it's a ministry. Hey, Amen. Number 10, and I'm gone. They don't want to abide in the in the counsel of God instead of the flesh. They rather have misery than joyfulness. My friend, marriage is joyfulness. Can you imagine? Come on, can we talk? If you spend a night over a man house and you're not married to this man, it's misery. Because guess what? As soon as you leave, you get another another woman coming in through the back door. You go through the front door, he has another woman come through the or another woman in the closet. So he rush you out so he can have sex with this woman. That is hiding in the closet. That's misery. So you rather you rather live that kind of life. You messing with a man don't love you. He love other women's and you the you the you probably the ninety nine woman that he with, and you think that marriage is a myth. It's not a myth, my friend. In your world, it's a myth, but in my world, it's a ministry and it's a mystery. If I've been married for thirty years, and my friend, I don't regret. Being married. I don't regret being married. I did other things I regret, but I don't regret being married because being married, hallelujah, you can you can end up going home to this to the same woman. Amen. By you wondering which woman I'ma call, which man I'ma call. You have a list of of, of dogs that you're gonna call. Come on, you miserable. Amen. If a man listen, if a man don't marry you. If a man has sex with you before before you marry you, amen, he's not going to marry you. Why? Because you're too easy. Amen. Come on. Uh, can we talk? If you give sex to a man, amen, and then you have a baby button, that man's not going to marry you. But if you play hard to get, he's going to say that I'm opposed to you and marry you and have sex to you and then, marry, then, then happy ever after. But if you are a woman... Amen. And this man give you a hotel stay or he say, mama and, and daddy now home, come over my house. And men call you at one o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the morning, and you go spend the night over his house. 
And now you're going to have a baby by this man that didn't even propose to you. He didn't even want to marry you. He took a condom out rather than give you a ring. Anytime a man pu pull out a condom, he's not going to marry you. Anytime a man, glory to God, have sex with you, glory to God, he's not going to marry you. And even if he marries you, you have sex and he marry, he's not going to stay with you. Because it's, it works like this, my friend. If you are single, listen to me, if you are single, don't give no man no sex. Amen. The only time you're supposed to have sex is when you are married. Sex is for marriage, people. Sex is not for singleness. And if you have think that sex is singleness, you are an animal. Because only animals have sex not being committed, not being faithful. And God didn't make us animal. God made us human beings. That's why we have fatherless homes. Because people don't want to be faithful. People don't want to be human beings. They want to be animals. I mean, look at the animals. The animals don't get married. Human beings supposed to get married, then have a family. Johnny don't post to call him grandpa, no grand, no dad. It's too many. It's too many kids calling grandpa and grandma and don't don't call them dad. Where are the dads? Because the women are easy, and the men know they're easy. Come on, and some men are taking advantage of these women because women are weaker vessel. Hallelujah. The Bible says women are weaker vessel. And we see that. Look at the rate of women having babies after babies after babies and no husband, no husband, no husband. Why? Because I think marriage is a myth. Amen. I'm trying to help somebody out there. If you are a virgin, stay a virgin until somebody give you, somebody propose to you say, would you marry me? When the last thing you heard that? When the last time you heard somebody propose to you, somebody propose to me. When the last time you heard that word propose, you don't hear that word no more. The only thing you heard is she won't have a baby and she don't know who the daddy is. Or you look on Movi Povic and say, you are not the father. Marriage is not a myth. Marriage is a mystery and marriage is a ministry. Say so they don't want to abide in the counsel of God instead of the flesh, they rather have misery than joyfulness. Listen, listen, I'm not picking on you. I'm trying to tell the next generation of the 20 of the 2020 or 22 that marriage is joyfulness. Singleness, having baby is misery because a daddy not gonna be around. You don't know who the daddy is. I'm trying to help you to solve this fatherless home, solve this microwave microwave love. I don't call it microwave love. I call it microwave love. You stick it in and take it out. That's it, my friend. Listen, that's not love. That's lust. And we got to get over it. Stop being easy. Stop being a freak. Stop being horny. When I say stop being a freak, if he touch you, slap him. I said if he touch your breast, slap him. If you want a tongue, you slap him. Hey man, come on now. You gotta learn to you gotta learn to govern and love your body. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body ain't for every Dick, Tom, and Harry. Your body's not for Jean, Susie, and 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 and, 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 and Jane. No, your body is for one person, and that one person is a person you're gonna marry. Come on, I've been out there. And it's not good being out there because it is SDD, Satan trap disease. I'm trying to help somebody out there. If you are a virgin, stay a virgin until somebody say, would you marry me? Because being a, being a whore, being a swamp isn't a good thing. You you get married to somebody, you a swamp, they're going to leave you within six months. Why? Because you wore out. You are a swamp. You're a swimming pool. You're an ocean. You're supposed to be a lake. You're an ocean. And you don't want to marry you no more because you washed up. You wore out. You no good. Marriage is not a myth.